Artist's Trip to Hell Dear friends, we will never get tired of reminding you that hell exists, that it is real and eternal. We want to put at your disposal this other testimony describing the different types of torture that those who have the misfortune to end up in hell are undergoing. This testimony was received by a young painter, who found it better to put it in visual images. During prayer, I began to grind my teeth against my own will and I couldn't stop it. At that moment, the scripture of Matthew 25, 30 passed through my mind. And throw that worthless servant outside, into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The words, it is hot, came out of my lips and I realized that my spirit was going through the sufferings of hell. Then, I saw a series of four images. I realized that the woman on one of these images had been a woman with many sexual sins and that the man on the other image had been a man who committed sins with his lips. Satan ripped the flesh of the man's spirit, roasted it, and enjoyed it as food. These were the spirits who landed in an island of hell and I saw a black factory far in a distance. I realized that these people will soon undergo tortures of hell there. The Lord said, there are so many people like them who walk on the path of hell that it is countless now. These people are following the path of hell without any awareness that their destination will be hell. People tend to think that heaven and hell are only a conceptual world of dreams. Just as the physical body in this world actually exist, spirits actually exist and so do the various worlds of the spirit. The spiritual world is a world of reality that actually exists. The mind thought and heart of the body are transferred directly to the spirit. So the pain of hell is felt as if one would feel it physically. Also, the spirit can sense things just as the physical body can, but it can feel things more sensitively and intensely. The joys of heaven and pains of hell can also be felt much more intensively than one would with a physical body. Those who say that heaven and hell exist without really believing it, live with this misunderstanding. However, heaven and hell actually exist. Hell for murderers. There were outcries from spirits who were being cut like slabs of meat all over the place in the human meat market. The flesh was being cut and hung throughout the place and a huge demon with a beast-like face held a big knife, put the flesh meat on the top of the cutting board and cut them. The cut slabs of flesh screamed out in pain and begged to have their lives spared. The first murderer in the Bible was Cain. The reason for his act was jealousy and envy. Hell of jealousy and envy. Satan threw the people into hell, one by one, over the cliff that connected to the floor below, and slid them down on the fluid secreted from the walls like, water slides. The people who received the suffering of being thrown over the cliff are people who felt neglected in love and felt out. On the floor of the basement section of hell, there was a huge shovel that was placed on a rock like a seesaw. On that shovel, there was a person sitting there tightly bound and trembling in fear. There was a fat but nimble demon and the moment he jumped up and down the handle of the shovel, the man screamed and flew high up in the air and disappeared. Hell of those WHO commit sins verbally. The Lord said, for those who cut me to pieces, disregard my words, and speak recklessly, their tongues will be hammered with a big nail, their lips will be sewn together with a needle, and lava will be poured on their tongues. Hell for slanderers. The psychology behind slander is that it does not stop at the instant one hears it but rather, it gets relayed to another person and so forth until it becomes a widespread rumor within the moment. The tongues of people who make slandering their duty are similar to the tongue of Satan. One mistaken slander will cause both the slanderer and the victim to undergo the suffering that comes from slandering. Slander is a habit, too. It is a satanic trait of taking pleasure in speaking ill of others. You must eliminate the seed of such slander. Hell for liars. Satan kept shoving rocks into the mouth of the man. The man threw up and cried out in pain, but Satan kept shoving the rocks without a moment of rest. Hell of stubborn thoughts. And self-made perceptions. Self-centered thoughts, think and believe incorrectly due to wrong discernment, misunderstand wicked acts and take them as righteous acts, confine yourself in your own thoughts and emotions. Hell for complainers. I saw a man who was being strangled and tied with a snake and a long thin snake was wiggling inside his stomach. Numerous men lay on the floor with a robotic facial expression as if they had no thought in them, and their faces were pale and gray with eyes staring blankly. I heard a noisy crowd in my ear. When I listened closely, I heard that they were voices of people who were grumbling and complaining. It is the Lord's fault. It is God's fault. It is your fault. It is all the pastor's fault. 
I heard every one of them complain that it was someone's fault. Their complaints were so loud that it hurt my ears. They looked so unsightly that I had to quickly glance at the Lord's face. This is what the Lord said. They did not say it with words but they always had negative words and thoughts, and had stubbornness stored in their hearts. Just because it is not spoken does not mean that sin was not committed. It is sin even to keep it in your heart without resolving and repenting of the things that are in your heart. Hell for those WHO commit suicide. Story of one WHO committed suicide. Continuous stress, ah, I'm so tired and exhausted. Wherever I go, there's no place where I can feel at peace. I've tried to soothe myself with drinking. I don't want to live anymore. Would everything be peaceful once I die? Would the weight of this life be lifted off of me once I die? Where am I? Satan. So, you thought that it would be over once you die. You thought you would be happy once you die. If I could only go there. Those who are in hell know that there is heaven. Yet they also know that no matter how much they cry and repent, they can never go to heaven. Hell is a world of eternal regret and suffering. Hell for addicts. Internet addicts. Abusive use of the internet for communications, game, pornography and other abominations can cause confusion between the virtual world and reality, the barrier in language, violence, sexual perversion, and other crimes. Therefore, it can be a major cause that leads people to sin. Drug addicts. Hell for drug addicts was a very cold place. Satan cut up the spirit's arms and legs, buried them in ice, and tied the rest of their body to a tree with rope. Next, they forced open the spirit's mouth and poured dirty sewage water into it. Materialistic people. These people loved money when they were physically alive but they receive eternal suffering here. The Lord said, these people are so caught up in their pursuit for riches that they value money more than people, prefer luxurious imported cars over faith and mock churchgoers. They also live in fear that the food that Satan pours on them will vanish so they try to fill their greed for possessions. Just as they were once sophisticated, Satan raises them high on a pedestal and burns their whole body to flames where they will live in intense and extreme pain. Hell for those WHO commit sexual sins. Even if love was done out of mutual affection, if it was done outside of the law that the Almighty God had given to human beings it is considered as a sexual sin. People commit sexual sins but they believe that it is just one of the ways of life. Love that is neither sincere nor for the salvation of lives but done simply for their own pleasure is considered to be a sin. The reason is that our body was not created as tools for pleasure. A woman and a man had all their limbs spread apart and bound in the nude. They were hung high up. The demons had two to three meters long spears and pierced them into the genitalia of the woman and the man again and again. A long and thin snake that was over 15 meters long entered into the sex of the woman within seconds, and passed through her whole body until it came out of her mouth. A man was stuck on the wall of the pit like a human bat and beasts that looked like hyenas were gnawing at the man's sex. The men that were stuck on the wall screamed in unbearable pain. Those WHO make pornography. There was a machine and a person was bound with their limbs spread apart. When the machine began to run, the hands and the feet that were bound began slicing off. The torso that had been cut up was gathered in one pile. The body was sliced thinly and passed through the machine like a bank receipt running through the cash register. People WHO have sexual intercourse. With animals. The people were hung upside down and twisted continuously until blood dripped from them and fluids oozed out from them. The spirits in hell screamed for their lives to be spared but I saw the demon below them collecting the dripping blood and drinking it. Women WHO enjoy sex and aborts babies recklessly. A woman was hung upside down in a deep pit. The demons inserted a 20 meter long spear into the sex of the woman all at once and twisted stirring them inside her. Hell for those WHO have abortions. There was a silkworm like a fruit on a bare leafless tree. There was a naked spirit curled up inside that fruit-like fetus inside a womb. There were sharp thorns made of steel embedded in the fruit and pierced into her body, so she bled in miserable pain. This place was filled with people who chased after their own pleasures, did not bear any children but kept aborting them. Harming lives is a tremendously horrific sin of murder, so we have to quickly repent. Hell for those WHO masturbate. The Lord said, You, who cannot overcome Lucifer's tricks and succumb to masturbation, there are so many of you who cannot overcome its pleasures and commit this act habitually. 
You did not realize the essence of love, nor can you feel an abundance of love in spirit. You are people who think that physical love is everything. No, the love of the soul is the greatest. The rotten love of the lower body is actually a love that is dead. Demons put a man on top of a big cutting board and began to cut the sex of the man. The man screamed and his whole body began to convulse. One woman was stripped naked and dragged on a floor of hot sharp rocks. This woman was unable to overcome her desires and tried to satisfy her physical desires through masturbation. They fall into the pits of hell because they did not perceive it as sin. The Lord said, these people committed all kinds of filthy and wicked acts. There are people who lived a life of human trash in the gutter. Among them, there are also famous entertainers, and there are many people who lived being caught up in drinking at bar lounges and sexual pleasures. With gutter-like acts they had committed, they are undergoing punishment in the gutter of hell. These people had tried to kill themselves and beat themselves every day. They lived a life of self-condemnation. They hit others, were violent, and fought with others. These people lived a life of killing others in their hearts and with their words hundreds of times at a time. The Lord said, so many people in this world are corrupt from the fall, so please relay my ever aching heart to them. When I see them, my heart aches so much. They unknowingly commit so many mounds of sins, and oblivious to this, they wander around lost. My heart aches extremely for this reason. The screams of pain of the countless number of people who go to hell pierce the sky. Hell for children. One who experienced hell. Lord how old is this child? The Lord answered, this child is nine years old and was an elementary school student. Lord why is this child going through such suffering? I really couldn't believe that there were children in hell and it was truly dreadful. The Lord said, this child did the things that his parents told him not to do and Satan was using this child the whole time. He was foul-mouthed and already caught up in the sexual culture of adults even at such a young age. Therefore, his brain was already plagued with a disease to the point that even his parents could not help him. There were bugs and insects crawling around the child and they were eating away at the fully naked child. Lord, what should we do with young children? Wouldn't it be okay if they repent? The Lord said, if children can discern between good and evil, know about heaven and hell, and judge for themselves, yet become corrupt, fall into sin and regard sin as trivial, harm others, mock and slander others with no intention to repent, they will go to hell. There are so many children like him in the world. If these children get into an accident or become ill and die without repenting, demons will drag them away and confine them to various prisons of hell. Hell for pastors WHO have become bad. One WHO experienced hell. Satan was dancing with joy. Today a big person came. He is the pastor who used to harass us. His whole spiritual body was tied up with rope and dragged there. Demons held up an arrow with a very sharp metal tip that was heated over the fire and began scarring him by stabbing him all over his body. Ack, please save me, Lord, please save me, Lord. Ack, it is useless now, you have become mine. Ack, Lord why is this person here? The Lord answered, he once led a mid-sized church. He especially received the grace of God and began leading a church. He preached about heaven and hell to many lives but later on, little by little became corrupt. He was a married man but he seduced one young woman from the congregation, dated her, and began to forget about me. Soon after, he began hitting his wife and ended up living with the other woman. He was then driven out of the church. Even when times grew hard, he did not seek me. He rejected my help even when I had tried to give him many chances and bring him back. I had wanted to lead many lives to the path of salvation through him but he turned everything away and chased after his own desires. That is how he ended up here. Lord what type of suffering will he go through here? Demons hate and despise most the pastors or anyone who once did my work, so they will inflict all kinds of pain. The demons will be happy and relieved that these people fell into their tricks. Those WHO mishandle public funds. A man was standing naked with his two arms spread in the image of a cross. There were needles pricked into each of his cells all over his body. He looked as if he could not scream even if he was in terrible pain. This person had spent the church funds as if it was his own. Those WHO do not preach the gospel. And those WHO hate the word of God. There was a person who kept vomiting. I looked closely and saw that small baby snakes were popping out of her mouth. This person had hated the word of God. 
The word is food for the spirit. Our spirits grow and change through the word of God. Those who confess their love only with their lips but fail to give their heart to Jesus. The Lord said, These people have not even once given their heart to me, and only looked upon me as their neighbor. They did not love me. They called on me only because they had to. They never cried for me but only cried for themselves. Modern people are so caught up in distractions and have developed their own philosophy up to the point that even if they are told that there is a creator who created human beings and that spiritual world exists, they neither have time to think of that world nor show any interest. Unfortunately, they don't know the realities of the spiritual world. The Lord said, Is it still your purpose of life to eat and live well in this world? Is it still your wish to only live comfortably in this world? Realize this instant that the result of such a life will lead you straight to hell. Those who lived in this world having nothing to do with me, when they die, they will also go to a place where it has nothing to do with me. Path to hell, path to heaven. There are so many paths in this world but they all are ultimately two paths. It may seem that life consists of thousands of paths but everyone, when they die will have to choose between two paths. What determines your fate of going to heaven or hell is your life here on earth. Just as gender, male or female, is determined in the womb, it is in the womb of the earth that will be determined the world where our spirit will reside. Everyone, physical body is born once and faces death but as people fated for death, our spiritual life is the outcome of our physical life. The Lord said, My heart aches when the ones who I govern live in the midst of sin. They do not even know that it is sin until the sins they commit pile higher and higher, and becomes a tall strong tower. But I will forgive everyone who breaks down their tower, becomes clean, and comes to me. Your pains are my pains. Your suffering becomes my suffering. All of you who live in sin, quickly repent and come back to me. My path is straight and my bosom is wide and deep. I have expressed all my love for all mankind. Repent sincerely so that you will not go to hell. Those who feel it deeply in their heart would strive with all their might not to go to hell. Tell them about this hell, let it be known. The hell that has been described to you until now is only a fraction of hell, but there are so many types of hell as much as there are types of sins. We cannot judge the standards of those sins accurately, so sins that we do not even know that we are committing continue to pile up. Hell is not an illusionary world. Even now, in the spiritual world, there are massive numbers of people falling down to hell on a daily basis. Does it seem like a subject that does not relate to you? Don't ever forget that you can be one of those many people. There is no point in regretting and repenting in hell. There is no way to get out of that place. You have to keep in mind that a world that rewards you according to your deeds is waiting for you after your death. The time for repentance is now, while you are still alive. Artists trip to hell.